welcome back to the ultimate decades challenge so today we're starting off in our side household because caspian and mira are about to have their first baby so let's go ahead and hop in it is currently 1308 it is day 7 of 14 of spring i did go ahead and extend the seasons now that i'm playing in a couple of different households it feels like the time is just going by a little too quickly so i did go ahead and extend that and i'll just keep um, making changes to it as i feel necessary but we are currently at Caspian's hut and he is just giving Mira a little back massage. She is in the third trimester. These two are so cute. So they should be having their baby pretty soon. Um, but for right now, Mira definitely needs to get a little bit of rest. So I will have her go ahead and do that. So she is prepped and ready for when this labor happens. And then Caspian as well. Let me go ahead and just get him down. It is late in the night. And so she's probably going to go into labor um, during the night. So I'll either see you when they wake up or when she goes into her labor. And then we'll do all of their death rolls. So it is 4.40 a.m. And Mira has gone into labor. So we are going to go ahead and get Caspian up and let's go ahead and have the baby oh my goodness they had a boy that is so exciting we have actually i'm going to fix the last name i did change the spelling so we have a first boy another rose and thorn heir oh my gosh okay let's do the roll and fingers crossed both mira and baby survive so just as a quick reminder it's if mira rolls a one then she did not survive childbirth and for the babies it is if they roll a 5 10 15 or 20. so let's go ahead and roll for mira okay mira survived childbirth and let's go ahead and roll for baby rosenthorn six oh my goodness okay that was so close to a five but they both did survive and we are gonna go ahead and name him liam rosenthorn and here is our little liam how sweet we have a, another heir for our side household. Oh, Mira's very, <laughs> Mira's very hungry. So let me have her go ahead and eat that. And then we'll take care of the baby. So I think what I'm going to do is while we're playing in this household, because I want to get back to our main household, is go ahead and roll for Liam for going into the infant age. And if he survives, then go ahead and age him up so we don't have to keep like bouncing around um, too much. But in this episode, I do want to have Caspian and Mira start their journey to reconnect with Kenrick. So We'll probably hop over to the main household and then a little bit later in the episode, we will return back to them. But let's go ahead and do our infant role for baby Liam. And if he survives, we'll go ahead and just age him up now so we don't have to do it later. All right, so the infant role is 12, 16, or 18. They do not survive. 17, oh my God, that was so close. That was crazy, but he does survive into being an infant. So I'm not going to waste any time. We're just going to go ahead and age him up now. I will still track his age um, properly as if he stayed the newborn for a whole day, but this will make it easier because then when they travel later in the episode, we'll be able to bring baby Liam with us. And that will be so cute for him to meet all of his little cousins. And let's see, he is going to be a cautious little infant. All right, we've got a cautious little bean and another blonde haired Rosenthorn. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that blonde hair gene is very strong in this family. So let me go ahead and give him his little makeover and we will be right back. So here is baby Liam. Oh my gosh, doesn't he remind you so much of what Jasper looked like as a little infant? Oh my goodness, they're going to be little twins. It's so, so cute. So we have another little heir. 
Oh no, it's okay, Liam. It's okay, little bean. All right, so baby Liam is now safe in his little crib, and these guys are definitely going to need to expand or relocate because they are out of space. So let's go ahead and get Mira dressed for the day. Have her come. Oh my gosh, Mira, the chickens have definitely looked better. Um, so we'll have her take care of that. And oh gosh, um, I forgot poor Caspian did not get any breakfast. Um, so I'll actually have him go ahead. Let's see, looks like Mira's actually already done this, but have him feed the chickens. And then let's see what Mira, they have not been able to make a whole lot um, just because um, they don't have a cow. So we don't have, they've been eating a lot of gruel. Oh, these poor guys. Um, we haven't been able to make butter or anything. Uh, we did make some flour. So I think we're just going to have to have gruel, unfortunately. Um, so we'll get Mira going on that and then Caspian. Okay, feeding the chickens. Anything with a garden? Yes, we can harvest. They just have a very small garden. Um, so we will definitely have these guys expand and then harvest the sage as well. Perfect. Thank you, Caspian. And then let's see, we're growing an apple tree. So that will sprout in fall. All right. So these guys are just going to settle in for the day. And for right now, we're going to go ahead and hop over and catch up with our main household. So we are back at Rosenthorn Farm, and I have so much to show you guys. Uh, Jasper and Kenrick are just doing a little bit of archery training. The girls are out here spending some time with mom while she gets some honey pressing and mead baking done. Of course, Papa Cedric over here taking care of the farm. And so I have made quite a lot of changes. First, I wanna show you guys the main house. This will now be the main house. So I've updated the first floor. We now just mainly have our kitchen area, a little bathroom area off of the back. And then we have stairs that go upstairs and we have everyone's sleeping arrangement. So lots of Sims and a tiny little space, but this is kind of how it was for them. So we've got the two girls in their toddler bed. Uh, Roslyn and Kenrick there, Papa Cedric, and then we actually have an extra bed, but I went ahead and put a little bunk bed in. Not sure how historically accurate bunk beds would be, um, but of course we have space for more babies because um, we probably should have another boy at some point. Plus I want a little red haired baby that looks like Roslyn. And then the front house is now a tavern. So I set up a few tables. We've got a bar. I made it look like they've got barrels of mead set up in the back. And then I have these shelves. I'm using Little Miss Sam's Live in Business mod and we can actually put the mead on the shelf and place it for sell. It's really cool. I'll show you guys how that works in gameplay. And then I have a bathroom here. And then I did a weird little thing here. Um, I made it look like it's like a a stairwell to a cellar and that's just so I can lock this door because basically I have to have a computer for um, the live-in business mod to cash the money out from the bar and so I'm just gonna lock that door to everyone and then just have Kenrick come down here um, when we need to cash out um, just to not mess with gameplay but I thought it'd be fun that they have like a little, a little cellar under here so I actually got that idea from one of you guys in the comments to hide items like this underneath so I went ahead and did that, but let's get these guys in motion. Um, everyone's needs are pretty good. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and have Kenrick come open up the business so you guys can see how that works. So we basically, you have to set a lot trait for it to be a live, you could do live in bar and live in retail and have both of them, it's really cool. So we'll open the bar, um, we'll open the store. There's only one mead bottle left. They, um, I was play testing it a little bit and we did sell quite a few of them. Unfortunately, the honey though, the honey won't let me sell it. So that's unfortunate, but we could always do the marketplace table if we want it. So Kenrick will start tending the bar. Townie should start showing up pretty soon. I did have to go ahead and lock our gates and lock the, the main house to only 
um, our household just so that way the people that show up um, don't try to go into our house. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So in the meantime, I'll get Rosalind going on the farm stuff. So can we harvest any more honey? Let's see, these are partially full. Um, here, Papa Cedric, why don't you go ahead and take care of all of the mite treatment? And so, yeah, these need to go a little bit longer. Anora, no, ma'am. No messes. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that mess. Um, so I'll have them come back over and play with mom. I want to make sure that the girls are still getting attention, but they definitely are. So we're going to let Rosalind play with the girls. And then let me see if she can make any mead when she's done with that. Jasper, why don't you help me um, harvest the garden? Or I guess he can't here. So we can just say that he is helping out. And then a lot of you guys had an idea that we can create like a, a club. Because during this time, a lot of like basically this land would have been owned by like a lord and the peasants would be working and farming the land they would get to keep a little bit of it for themselves and then basically the rest of it would go to the castle or whatever and so i did put down a few more rows that we can plant even more and then i probably will create a club with some of the townies to signal like signal that the men are coming over and then they would have like an end of harvest feast so i think that would be really fun to play out in the game so we will definitely do that so papa cedric will just continue to take care of that did anyone show up yet kenrick i don't know what's happening um Rosalyn, can you make any mead oh we can make quite a, a lot of different um meads now but let's play with Oh, we've already played with Adeline. Where is Honora? Honora is just a little loner. She just runs off on her own. Let's make some strawberry mead. All right, so then we'll fill this in to bottles and I'll go ahead and stock that over here. And then what I do is you just click on it and then set them for sell. It's pretty cool. I think we may have made more money being able to mark them up on the marketplace table but it's been really fun to like have people come in and buy them now kenrick and jasper are jokesters i love that our little goofball and then it is starting to rain um let's go ahead and get the girls inside and then it looks like we've got four spinach tart and two chicken pies left so we should have enough food for everyone the girls are starting to get a little bit hungry so let's get them fed um Rosalyn, you're doing pretty okay adeline is actually going to need to use the chamber pot so why don't she come ask mom all right so let's help our little bean with that she is um high enough level to use it independently but i do want to try to get like the parents more involved with the kiddos and let's see how is it going over here um i really wonder if this has to do i don't know why no one's showing up it's so weird the only thing that i changed was um i added a lot trait that said no royals nobles allowed but that should still there's like plenty of peasants in the game so i'll remove that and see if that changes anything and it just may be that not every single time people show up because this place was full of people but i don't really want like the king and queen like just randomly showing up at the tavern I, even though we are selling our meat to the castle it just still doesn't feel super realistic but yeah as soon as i removed that um people are showing up so let's go ahead and tend the bar and jesper why don't you come over and get you some spinach tart and it's pretty cool he'll just serve the bar and then they'll order drinks and then sometimes they'll go over and they'll just like buy one of the meads we don't have to even do anything it'll just automatically sell it which is really cool um, so it's super hands off but let's see if she orders a drink friendly introduction this guy is a knight so that's kind of cool that he has stopped in 
So I was debating on what to have Kenrick do, but I think what I'm going to do is have him like work on the bar. And even though what I've read is during this time, mostly the women actually are who did more of the mead brewing, but I may still have Kenrick help out with that just so um, we can uh, have like more going on the mead table and she can help with the kiddos. But we do have some people coming in. Look, it is Mira. I think since they showed up, I wonder if Caspian is going to show up as well. I may go with the storyline. I was going to manually have them come around and like look for them. Mira bought one of our meads. We're going to say she just like, they're already like around looking for Kenrick. They're not sure where he lives and things like that. So they're kind of making their way through the kingdom, asking if anyone knows anything about Kenrick and the Rose and Thorns. And it was such a close encounter. She stopped by, she bought some mead and didn't even realize that she was here. So we'll save that part of the story for later. But yeah, Kenrick is just going to serve the guests and then we'll like go basically we'll know how much we made once we cash out at the computer um let's see roslyn what have you got going on cleaning up with the kiddos okay girls are with papa cedric well i guess Nora is over here okay go potty little bean what are these guys doing adeline why don't you see if papa cedric wants to play Papa, play with me, Papa. All right, Jasper, why don't you be a big help and clean up? And Anora is going to need to go down for the night pretty soon. She is really sleepy. And then let's check in on how things are going over here. Let's see, Rosalind is not tending the bar. Rosalind, we are missing out on sales. There you go. Why don't you greet everyone? And this will be like a really fun way for them to make some friends as well um, by having people stop in at the tavern. Thank you, Jasper. You're being such a big help. But let's see. It is 7 p.m. I'll probably close it down at 8. Let's see. Oh, did Adora have a potty accident? Oh, she put herself to bed. We'll come tuck you in in a minute. Let's put the girls to bed. Get them down for the night. All right. Good night, Adeline. And then let's make sure we tuck in Anora and give her a little good night kiss as well. Good night, girl. See you in the morning. Let's see how much we made. I'm not sure if we made that much because I wasn't managing them too well with tending the bar. But let's see. We made... Oh, wait. I didn't see it pop up. I was looking at the top right of my screen. So I'll see it on the replay. But um, you guys probably saw we sold all of the mead. We're back up to 5,000 simoleons. So we'll go ahead and close the bar, close the store, and then everyone will leave. And then if they don't leave, then I have a mod where I can force everyone to leave and select everyone. But it looks like everyone else is down for the night. So poor Rosalind needs to get her needs um, settled. And then I'll get her down and I will see you guys when they wake up for a fresh start tomorrow. All right. So Adeline and Kenrick just woke up for the day. Adeline did get the early riser trait. So these guys are hungry. So we're going to go ahead and get her downstairs and get her some breakfast. We've got our little morning sims and then everyone else is sleeping in just a bit. Okay, so we're just going to take our little bean downstairs and now Anora, she's a little bit older, so she's going to take herself downstairs and get some breakfast with Kenrick as well. So let's go ahead and grab a serving for Adeline and then we can grab a serving for Anora as well, get the little kiddos fed. I'm going to try to play a little bit slower in today's uh, episode. I was like really trying hard to get us um, to 10,000 simoleons last episode, so I was playing through a lot quicker, but in this episode, I definitely want to spend a little bit more time with the family. 
Look at the girls just having some spinach tart for breakfast. They're so cute. Everyone is up so far except for Rosalyn. The girls are messy eaters, so they are making a bit of a mess. Um, Adeline also got the frequently sneezes trait, and it's been really annoying because she basically glitches out every time she sneezes, so that is a little bit annoying. So when you see her kind of glitching around, that is what is happening. Um, I would try to cheat it away, but honestly, they just come right back. Um, so Jasper is going to have some breakfast, and let's see. Um, Rosalyn can go ahead and get up for the day and come grab her some breakfast as well. And then we'll get these guys going. So the animals are, we've got so many sims, the animal shed keeps getting really behind. Um, Jasper can come and clean and milk Helga and help dad with the morning chores before we decide to open up the tavern. Um, I think today um, Papa Kenrick can help clean up the house a little bit. And then let's see, Rosalyn is doing pretty good. While she's on top of things, we can go ahead and get some laundry done. It looks like it's already out here actually. So let's just get this hung up and get some chores done. All right, awesome job. And go ahead and let's make some more mead because we have tons of honey right now. Let's do some ap uh, baked apple cider. That sounds delicious. So I'll get her going on that. And then the girls love to come and watch their mama. So I'm just going to have them come over and watch. And let's see, Cedric, let's see, Jasper's having his bath. So I think Cedric is actually going to come over and he will open up the bar for the day and tend to the bar. So that is open. And then let's see, Rosalind, that was fast. Okay, go ahead and fill in the bottle so we can get this up there and selling. Let's see, we can also make blueberry let's do some blueberry as well let me get this stocked and set for sale okay so papa cedric is tending the bar rosalyn is making are you not are you okay yeah she's making the mead oh my gosh did you just see jasper hugging baby adeline are you playing with your sisters tell her a goofy story oh my gosh this is so cute i have to get a picture of them next to the mead brewer. Aww. I love that he is being so sweet to his baby sisters. Adeline! You like to make messes. Here, Jasper, why don't you come and make funny faces with your sister? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. So much of my CC is glitching out. I've got to go through and clean some of it out. I just already, I only have uh, so few. And so that's why that glitches across the screen. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, so I'll have to go through and update some of it. Let's see, are you tending that bar? Yes, you are. 10 more simoleons. We sold something. Let's see. Okay, fill this into bottles, Rosalyn. And then I'll get that on the shelf. And then let's make some more. What else can we make? Uh-oh. Okay, we can still make more apple cider. So let me get the blueberry meat on the shelf. We've already sold two of the other ones. I love this mod so much. It just feels a lot more realistic. I would love to have the stocks, the shelves like super stocked. Let's see, Kenrick, why don't you, these should be full now, yes. Let's go ahead and collect the honey. I'm gonna have him collect the honey first before he applies the MAC treatment because when I did it the other day, it glitched. I don't know if it was a glitch or if that's how it works, but when I applied the mite treatment, then um, the honey production went away. So that was kind of weird. Okay, so Kenrick is gonna work on that. Um, let's see, Rosalyn. Okay, she finished another barrel. Fill in bottles. Did I set? these for sale I did not I forgot to set these for sale so you have to make sure you click on them and actually set them for sale but they're selling really quickly perfect so we've got more mead going I don't think she can make any more 
as of right now, but let me just double check. We can make more apple cider. So let's make another, just one more round of that while we can, while we have guests here buying things. Wait, okay. Caspian is actually here. I am gonna control him. So, Caspian and Mira have just stopped by at the tavern. They've been on a long journey out and about looking for Kenrick and his family, and they just found this tavern. And so Mira was like, oh, I got some mead here the other day. It was really delicious. We should go ahead and stop on by again. And so they are just going to actually this time come and um, go inside of the tavern. Papa Cedric is working. They've got baby Liam with them this time. And so Caspian is just going to have a seat here and introduce himself to Cedric. So he's like, hi, my name is Caspian. We're here from the Crumbling Isles. I'm actually trying to find my brother, uh, Kenrick Rosenthorn. Did you by chance know anything about him? And so I think he's actually gonna um, ask about another Sim and we're gonna ask about Kenrick um, and see if, you know, uh, Cedric knows anything about Kenrick, and of course he does. So he said, oh my gosh, you're never going to believe this, Caspian. Um, this is actually Kendrick and his wife's tavern. They live here with their kids, and I am his wife's father. And so he's like, no way, oh my goodness, right? And so he's super surprised. He's going to go out. He's like, Kendrick is probably out um, working in the fields or something. I'm actually not sure where Kendrick is. Um, oh, Kendrick's in here with the little kiddos. Um, we'll read a, a book to baby Honora in a minute, but for right now, um, I'll have Kendrick come on in and we'll say Papa Cedric went out and got him, but that would just take way too long. And so Kendrick is just going to come over and these guys haven't seen each other in forever. So Kendrick, uh, Caspian is just gonna say let's see um i think we're just gonna do like a small talk um ask about his day like yeah he's gonna say oh my gosh little brother it's been so long since i've seen you i can't believe we found you guys we've been looking all over the place trying to find any information about you and mira this is my wife mira and our son liam wait why kenrick kenrick we're in the middle of something right now, buddy. Why are you yelling at the traitor? Um, honestly, him being a little bit... It doesn't say he's angry. It says, uh, can't we all get along? Kenrick is disappointed after witnessing his friends arguing. They're better than this. Um, maybe we'll actually go with... He's a little bit... like He's happy to see Caspian, but I think the emotions are a little bit difficult. I mean, his brother abandoned him when he was 11 years old, right after their parents died. So this is a little bit shocking. It's not all smiles and rainbows for these guys. It's a little bit of a complicated relationship. Just to make it a little bit less stressful, I'm gonna go ahead and have um, Cedric go ahead and come and cash out the bar so we can close it down and not have so many Sims around. All right, so that took a minute to get all of those Sims out of here and get these guys gathered in here, but now we can do a little bit of catching up. So like I was saying, Kenrick is definitely having some mixed feelings, although obviously he is still happy that his brother is alive and well and healthy and also has started his own family. And so what I wanna do is have um, introduce Kenrick to his nephew. These guys are just going to do some catching up. So Rosalyn will um, introduce herself to Mira. Oh, look, this is your nephew, Liam. Oh, that's so sweet. And let's see, let's actually have Cedric play with the girls. Oh my gosh, they're arguing. Oh no, this is definitely, tempers are definitely high. I think this is super unexpected. 
All right, so we've got Jasper here entertaining baby Liam. We've got Papa Cedric taking care of the girls so these guys can have a little bit of a chat. All right, so I am going to have to pause while I go over this little part of the story because they will not stay sitting. So these guys are just having a little bit of catch up. Of course, Caspian and Kenrick are quite curious what has been going on for each of them since they have been apart when they were 15 and 11 years old. And so Kenrick is actually telling Caspian the story of how after he left, Kenrick did not have any money to take care of himself. He could not take care of their little hut that they lived in. They lived in a very small fishing cottage, similar to Kenrick's with a little bit more space for the kiddos. And Kenrick was actually out begging on the docks. And that is when, lo and behold, Papa Cedric actually spotted him. So Papa Cedric um, spent a little bit of time fishing as well and was passing through the docks and saw Kenrick at about, you know, 12, 11 years old and decided to take him in and raise him sort of as his own just to take care of him and teach him some skills and stuff. And so him and Rosalind actually knew each other since before they were teenagers and they eventually fell in love and decided to get married and start their own farm. So Kenrick has been a really quiet character so far. And I think a lot of how he was brought up and abandoned and left on his own and then taken in by another family. He's just really sort of a quiet guy. And all he ever really wanted was a place of his own and a family of his own. So he definitely loves Jasper and his girls and things like that and his feelings Oh my God, he actually has a red bar with Caspian and Liam too, for some reason. I don't know why Liam, but I think he's definitely not as thrilled um, with this situation. I think maybe he is going to have an argument. We'll just say who's better, but like they're going to have a little bit of an argument. He's going to be like, look, I can't believe you just abandoned me like that. Like... I was really still just like a kid. Like we just lost our parents. Like, how could you do that? Like, so they're having a little bit of a heated conversation. Um, I think we need to go ahead and get the girls down. So um, Rosalind is going to let the brothers just deal with their situation. And she's going to go ahead and come and give a bath. Uh, to Adeline. Um, this house definitely needs to be cleaned. I think, yeah, Nora is going to bed, so she is good. Um, can Jasper pick up an infant? Can kids pick them up? Um, he can just um, help take care, but yeah, these guys, oh my goodness, they are, Jasper's just not even phased. He's just like, grown-ups being grown-ups. But let's go ahead, Rosslyn. I cued you to go give this little one a bath. So let's do that. But I think these guys are definitely not going to be staying here for the night. They're probably going to go get a room at a tavern down the road. And so it's getting late. Tensions are really high. So Caspian and... Mira and baby Liam are going to go ahead and head out, but hopefully these guys will be able to rekindle their relationship, but only time will tell. So Kenrick, I think, is going to go ahead and come out here and just do some banging around on his blacksmithing station to relieve a little bit of stress. Papa Cedric is going to go ahead and get some dinner. Oh my gosh, did they all, they are eating the food so quickly. Oh my gosh, Roslyn, we need more food. <laughs> so let's have Roslyn make, okay, we need to go, the boys need to go hunting tomorrow for some more food, but for tonight, I think we can go ahead. We'll make a fish head stew. Um, we're gonna have to get some laundry done. Papa Cedric, can you clean up the girls' chamber pot real quick? Oh my gosh, he's so angry. 
So Kenrick, can't we all get along? He has a loyal trait, so he doesn't like seeing people fighting. No win scenario. Why can't they understand? No amount of logic and passion can move, move your toe. So I guess Caspian didn't really see things from the way that Kenrick saw him. Uh, Caspian just saw it as he was going out to do what he always dreamed of and didn't really think of the fact that he was abandoning his brother. But of course, Kendrick sees it very differently as he had to then go out and beg and was fortunate enough that Papa Kendrick found, or Papa Cedric found him and took him in. Otherwise, um, things may not have worked out so well for Kendrick. So it makes sense that he is so angry about the situation. So let's check in on our girls. Adeline, I think you can come up. Um, I really wanted to have them put the girls to bed, but we've just got kind of a lot going on at the moment. Jasper is being such a good big brother. Um, Jasper, can you pick up the dirty clothes, buddy? And help mom out. Thank you. Okay, so for some reason they're like struggling to use the counters um so i'm just gonna have her see if she can make a salad i'm not sure it might give me like the same issue with the counter it's like they get started and then they like can't use it so let me see if this works food is ready so let's go ahead jasper is hungry we're hungry let's see papa cedric is also hungry oh he's doing laundry bless him um come get you some food papa cedric that was an eventful unexpected evening and they had to close the business down early so they didn't make nearly as much money all right and then off to bed for you Roslyn Kenrick you can go to bed so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here I had a lot of fun today playing a lot slower and just getting a little bit more into the character stories and so I really look forward to the next episode and seeing if Kenrick and Caspian can reconcile their conflict and hopefully really get the tavern business going so if you like this episode don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one